Prime Minister Bennett says Iran is acting like a bully in the region and he wants the U.S. to get tough. I will tell President Biden that now is the time to halt the Iranians, to stop this thing, not to give them a rescue line in the form of re-entering a nuclear deal that has already expired and is not relevant, even to those who thought it was once relevant. Biden wants to re-enter the Iranian nuclear deal, but the talk stalled recently. Since then, Iran has a new hardline president and is rapidly advancing its uranium enrichment, far beyond what was allowed in the original deal, the JCPOA. Israel says it's only a matter of weeks before Iran will have what it needs to make a nuclear bomb. Bennett says he has a plan for Biden. We will present an organized plan that we have built in the past two months to stop the Iranians in the nuclear dimension and in regards to its regional aggression. Former Israeli ambassador to the U.S. Michael Oren says one of the ways to stop Iran is by hitting its economy. Striking at its oil industry would hurt Iran. It doesn't have to involve civilian casualties, um, but you would, Israel could deal a very severe blow uh, to the Iranian economy. Oren tells CBN News this meeting between Bennett and Biden is crucial for Israel. Israel has to make clear to the United States, A, that it will never be bound by the Iran nuclear deal, that we'll never give up our freedom of action. He says Israel also needs to hear how the U.S. plans to enhance Israel's security should it re-enter the JCPOA. Because our security would be greatly impaired by the renewal of that agreement. And there are various ways by uh, improving Israel's capabilities, by various understandings with the United States, in which our security can be improved, albeit not 100 percent, because the JCPOA poses a strategic, if not existential, threat to this country. In the meantime, Israel is waiting to see what impact the turmoil surrounding the U.S. pullout from Afghanistan will have on the Biden administration's willingness to take a strong stand against Iran. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.